pellegrinoli delle frecce che i colori sorvolano Viale Venezia, adesso faranno... Hi guys and welcome to a new video. We are having a look at all the Mille Miglia cars. This is a starting grid. All the cars are more or less 440. Quite a lot to see all. Let's hope I can show them all to you. Hear them. That's fantastic. And we've got uh, Bugatti, Bugatti, so the Bugatti circle up there, up to a uh, black clouds, yeah. Hope you can hear me, because the noise here is very, very loud. Kia N, also, is a pace car. And up they come, another Bugatti on the back there. This is the other couple, number 25 and number 26. Sorry, there's a little people. All lined up very well this year. And we are already at number 35, ready, Italian team. I'll let you to comment this because it's as always amazing like last year but I need to say it's much much more organized this year look at this Sitala backed up by uh, it's a SSK I think Alpha another one look at this Now the Bugatti that they probably decided to run up like this. Two ladies, very well, very nice to see two ladies driving these cars, these old cars. Some teams decided to start up slowly, <laughs> I would say, uh, putting the cars around here. It's also starting to rain. It was perfect until 10 minutes ago. Now, unfortunately, some drops are coming down. But I think they're all prepared for this. I just hope for them it's not four days. Because this year will be four days. And I hope it will not be four days of rain for them. Got a Mustang. With some sponsors on top. I already know what they're going to do. Mille Miglia friends. Aeronautica Militare. And we've got another Bugatti. I think the number of Bugatti is really, really this year is top number another alpha alpha another alpha on the back italian plate number look at this sorry it was a lancia chrysler very old chrysler okay the ds i think it's technical sponsor together with alfa romeo or something like that another alfa romeo love to hear them hear them with the motor switched on Another Italian team, plenty of Italian teams this year. More or less like last year, 400 cars. So around 800 people involved only in the historical race. So imagine how much people are around here. Got another look at this pre-war. I said this coming up. Another 62. Another Italian team. I remind you these are all usually all very big expert, experts of cars. Because if something happens in these four days, it's true you have a backup, but not so much in reality. So look at what Brescia becomes in these days. It's 
absolutely crazy. Plenty of pre-war cars that participated to the Mille Miglia or eligible. You can have a look in the website, there's everything how your car can be eligible or probably not <laughs> because all the eligible cars are costing double or triple the normal ones. But imagine going around with this some 60, 70, 70 I would say, 70 or 80 years ago, something like this. Yeah, absolutely. 80 or 90 years ago. Crazy. I just passed in the middle here. Got plenty of pace cars. Look how they're organized. Empty. Alpha. We've got some more English, British name coming up. I still didn't see a lot of Ferraris. I remind you there is there will be also the video of the Ferrari coming up, Ferrari Tributo that they always do. Let's not forget of this very nice Austin Halley. Very nice. As always they're kept. Very well. And they also kept some water inside because the days can be very, very long, believe me. Number 304 from Argentina, if I'm not wrong. And number 81, ready to roll. We are getting there, 82. Ready to have a good time. 84, back 99. You can have a look at all these cars, probably on the timeline of the entrance. Look at Balilla. I think 70 or 80 oh, uh, uh, year old Italians have drived one of those sooner or later. Number 100 from probably the Aeronautica Militare, Italian Aeronautica. This Maserati. I'm not telling the names because half of them I can get them wrong and I really don't want to offend anybody. So here we are, they're getting up. 88, 89. In the meantime, in the back, we're starting to have also some other interesting cars. I don't know how they get the numbers, to be honest. Probably they go from, from the production year, don't really know, but yeah, one thing I could absolutely say is that this year the quality of the cars has grown again and, and it's much more organized. If you have a look at last year's video, you can see that this street was a real mess. So now it's all organized, all the cars are very well, uh, how can I say, aligned. We got some, this was also last year, if I'm not wrong. And this Ferrari, I got it, I think also earlier before in the motorway, quite a lot of people around, obviously. This is very loud, this Lamborghini. But let's go back to the oldies. SL. Starting to cover them because the rain is coming. This start to have some Ferraris, very, very interesting. 7, 781, 718, Camines. SL63 AMG. Let's have a look also at the newer ones, obviously. Something Zagato. Coming up, sorry for maybe missing some of them, but it's almost impossible. Look at this, a couple of BMWs coming up. Pushing them just to arrive to the starting line, probably. These are having a best photo shoot. And we've got some military. 
military cars from the Italian military. Very well kept also these ones, I need to say. Sorry, I stopped a second to admire this 340 because it's very, very nice. Original Millimilia with the number 614, 223 for this Millimilia. Another very well kept car. As I said, I will not say the names because I'll get them wrong and I really don't want any case she's Italia. Then we got another Alpha here. It's, no, it's not so nice, but it's one of my favorite. Also, if I think that a covered car like this could be one of the best for the, for the event, because it's closed and if if it rains like it's going to uh, it's much better <laughs> to stay in there for four days than to get the rain so I think I missed a couple but here they come I think these guys are quite used to going in these events because they just couldn't care less just passed away not passed away just passed the Oh, this is a Topolino. I know this. <laughs> Very nice. Also this one. We're arriving to the 200s. Actually, there's 119 already here. Number 12 of the Mille Miglia Friends. Look at this. to hear them pass. Got a very nice Maserati over there, 356 Spider over here. This is moving, still moving. That's what probably I could afford, maybe. And I think we've got another one somewhere there were a couple of Japanese teams. Now we're going around the 200s or less, 277. Also this is <laughs> quite difficult in my opinion to, to handle for four days, but they can make it for sure. In the end about 90% uh, of the cars finish or 92%. So very big number. Now they're trying to figure out how to this guy is super. Okay, he took out his bicycle. Why not? She's Italian. I think Japanese plate numbers or US. German team. Super car. Super. 187 is going up. Original, originally drove the Millimilia. I give you a small insight of how they how they're driving. So the place is space is very very low. These are two Italian team on uh, Oscar. Very experienced for what I see because we've got the helmet with the headphones, the timer. So super organized. Team 177 from Repubblica San Marino is leaving. So let's hear it. Again, look at this Aston Martin. DB, DB what? Two? I think this was here also last year. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I think I saw it also last year. All black. Heating up the engines. And going always on the back, we've got this 
Ferrari 16mm. I think probably one of the most valuable cars here. Don't get me wrong. But with Bugattis and Ferraris, I think at the moment this is one of the most expensive cars in here. So, super car to take. Another all ladies team from the Netherlands. Super. Nice to see a lot of different people, different countries arriving here. We'll just randomly stay here because <laughs> they're going to park. The school wing. Look at it. Sponsor Villa Trasqua official wine. Yeah. Team 177 is 176. Sorry, I was looking at another team is ready to go. They put their luggage on top. Let's hope it remains there because the speeds this guy gets usually are very high. They I don't know if you've ever been, ever seen how they drive. Not them, just them, like number 176, but in general, these guys are crazy on the, on the roads. They know the road is for them, and they use it completely. Another 356. Fantastic shower. A Ferrari 195 here. Alpha. We start this is a bit more modern, Giulietta. Sprint veloce. This is always one of my favorites. I think it's been here each year probably. But it's very very nice. The Jaguar is absolutely insane. And not to forget another car, but obviously with much higher budget. Is this SL? With good windows. I say with higher budget because it's closed as I said before but it's one of the best if it's if it's raining so you have it one of the best here we are almost arrived to the end but in reality it's not the end because we are not even at see, 246 338 so we have plenty more to come. I hope I can do them all. Obviously, a modern pinky. Follow the pink. Don't know what these ladies are doing, but they're in the game together with all the others. It's four days also for them, so it will be quite tricky. And welcome to part two of the Mille Miglia starting grid. We've got some very important people, like this guy that everybody's waiting to have a signature from him, Jochen Mas. So they took a bit of everything, signatures on the photos, somebody had a helmet to make him sign, so always nice things happening here. And what to say about his 300 SL, let's look at this, driver of 70s and 80s in the Formula 1. Here we are. Somebody starting to get organized for the rain, unfortunately. Got some new stuff I didn't show you before. The noise of some cars is absolutely stunning, really. Got a couple of SLs coming up. One, two, and three. And four on the back, actually. And, nevertheless, four over there. As a part two, I'll give you a brief overview of all the cars really lined up, lined up very well. Finally, something well organized because last year was a complete mess. So we're at 190 here. Got 
fantastic Ferrari. It's the Ferrari. Look at it. Super. 166 we saw before. Look how many people there are. But don't let us get out of this fantastic Cadillac. This is another stunning car. Look at this. How could they do things like that? Those ears. Got them all. Obviously, smoking in this area is not really the best thing to do, but everybody's smoking, so <laughs> why not? <laughs> if something catches fire here, it's like millions of euros catching fire, but that's some, somebody's birthday. Somebody is singing happy birthday, so obviously they're very serious and concentrated for the race, because in reality it's a regularity race, or opening. If it opens, just to show off a little bit at the starting point, because unfortunately it's not getting better, so it's not really raining, but it's not even so dry. I don't know how these guys can stay in here for four days, but really good racing spirit. Because in there, I think it's really, really uncomfortable. And also they are very well organized. Got young people. Young, old, a little bit of everything. You should get something like this. What do you think about it? Obviously the B21 would be quite expensive to have, but maybe the B20 or not 22, no, it's already too young for this race. So they're moving on. Here it is. You should check this. Here they're pushing it to the starting line. Obviously they don't want to switch it on and switch it off and switch it on and switch it off. Probably it's, not, it's even not so easy. The ladies from the Netherlands having great fun, great fun. Look how many cars, how many people. Got Jaguar clip probably, because <laughs> the US. And another car whose value is very low is this Ferrari. Super. It's a bit late, a bit late, but he's rolling up, 2.22, coming up with uh, another Ferrari, 2.23, and after Martin with some fans here, look at this. I love this also. Very nice US team. Don't know if they if they take them here or if they rent them because there's also quite a quite a thing of renting cars for this event. You can easily find it in the internet. So Walter Rowe. Hmm, interesting. Porsche's 356. This is a 
Mazda got to Mille Miglia. Very rare car. Plenty of very rare cars, I need to say, this year. Well, like last year. <laughs> Can't say much different. But yeah, really, really a lot. 3 to walk till the end again. As before, there should be completely new cars. And here we are with the mess again, but this is normal. Obviously, people are coming a bit when they want. This is a bit the thing of the race, so you can come when you want, but obviously, you try to start with your number. Two falls in front, two six in the back. You need to let them pass. Two for one, let's see what they managed to do. We have arrived in the 250s. Now it's a bit of a mess to make the right ones pass. Fortunately, there's some guys from the military, some carabinieri with all their cars. Imagine when these cars were running after you. That would be really, really funny. Look at this. <laughs> but my father tells me that this was actually a very fast car running after you. Del Fitta. These cars, Vespa. <laughs> bit of everything. That guy is passing very close to some hundreds of thousand euro car. Hope there are enough new cars. Respect to the other video. If you didn't see the other video, have a look at part one, obviously. That's been loaded a bit earlier. So look how serious these guys are. Super. Bit of pace cars. X2, what is it? Yeah, X2, I think. Yeah, ooh. The noise from this car is not the best. Look at how this is kept closed. So I think he's got a team back here getting him ready. everywhere find plenty of footage in the internet in the next days two five nine two five five well having a seven series following you it's the best thing Cadillac on the back the one I was going to buy but then I didn't I opted for another Stelvio, as you know, probably, if you're following the channel. Another Jaguar. This is probably some of the best of those days. I love how this is all free to enter for everybody. Everything is very easy here. So I really, really enjoy it each year because you don't really get to get in so close to some cars as you do here. But yeah, I think the quality of the cars is getting always higher. These two moved from where they were before. We're doing practically another tour. This Maserati, crazy. Covered it for when it was raining before. Not an M. <laughs> you thought it was an M, but it isn't. Another Topolino here. And we've got they, they stopped. They're not Italian because they stopped for the traffic light. That, that was red, but the roads are closed. love to be here in the next years. Another 300 SL. Almost to the end for number 398, 302. 
and they was looking to all the cars, but I mean, I got another Ferrari! Another Ferrari! Here it is. Super. Like the plate number. This probably around the original one, I don't really know. They're bringing them all to the starting line. <laughs> Got guys that went to the Gran Premio Nuvolari. Also, these ones they made some rallies. Another SL convertible with a ladies' team 364 from the US. Quite a lot from the US and quite a lot from the Netherlands. Under a cell, Italian plate number. We have an Italian team, so another Italian team and a pace car. Okay, and I think I've shown you quite a lot, also this part too. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to put a big like, not only for me, but for these guys that are, these people that are really, really passionate of cars. They keep them as they were probably their son or their daughter and uh, they enjoy these days four days uh, in these cars I mean that's kind of crazy to be honest but I'd really like to do it once you know people that know what they're talking about 29 go. kid please move move on move on move on so amazing cars Amazing people, can't get out. Look in there. I'll show you a bit inside those, those two 300 SLs, but also this Porsche 1500. Super nice, look inside kept very very well I kind of understand why it was so luxurious one time to have a car like this because it would be probably luxurious also today <laughs> for how the internal area was made obviously the exhaust can't be so standard <laughs> obviously but this probably made yeah the 22nd millimeter in 1955 so original ferrari right hand drive look how organized they are amazing guys again thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it come here to brescia make yourself a a nice trip to italy and come and have a look at the Mille Miglia. Thanks for watching. Ciao.